guys, I'm Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do yoga for upper body strength. So this is going to be like a yoga fusion type class. So we are going to do classic yoga poses, but we're really focusing on strengthening the upper body. So you can do this if you are someone that is just looking for an upper body workout, or if you are a yogi who wants to focus on upper body strength today, then this class will be perfect for you. I like to make videos like this that kind of focus more on the physical aspect of yoga because I think it helps people discover yoga. So a lot of us tend to get into yoga more for the physical benefits, which is totally fine. But if you are new to yoga, just know there is so much more to it than just the physical benefits. If you are interested in seeing what else yoga has to offer, I do have a free seven day experience that basically shows you a different aspect of yoga each day. So some days are more like power yoga and that working out type yoga, and then there's also meditation and breath work. So it's a really good way to really see what yoga is all about and see what resonates with you. So I will link that in the description down below. But with all that said, we don't need any props today, so all you need is a mat and we'll get started. Okay, so we're gonna start in a cross leg position, easy pose. This is my dog, Macy. She is joining us for the beginning of practice, apparently. So we're just gonna start just to warm up our body. So we're gonna reach our arms overhead. Drop the left hand to the floor and reach the right arm overhead. And switch sides, drop the right hand to the floor, left hand comes overhead. And we're just gonna move back and forth like this, switching to the left and switching right over to the left and over right over to the left and hold reach through your fingertips stretch through the arm and switch sides left arm comes overhead reach through the left fingertips really stretch through the left side body Coming back to center. We're gonna go onto our hands and knees, all fours. Okay, so on all fours, your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Reach the left arm up so your right hand grounds down into the earth, left hand reaches up, opening the body, and then bring the left arm through. So you're gonna put your shoulder onto the floor, rest your head on the floor for thread the needle. So you're twisting to the right gently. Breathe here. Another moment. Press through your right hand, reach the left arm back up, and then come back to neutral. Put the weight into your left hand, reach your right arm up to the sky, open and then thread that right arm through. So you're gonna be resting on the right shoulder. Relax your head on the floor. Breathe here. One more breath. Put your weight into your left hand. Come back up, reach the right arm to the sky, and then come back to neutral on all fours. So just a quick little note, we are gonna be on our wrists a lot throughout this practice since we are strengthening our upper body without using weights. So if you ever feel like you just need a rest, then you could just come into child's pose. So feet together, knees wide, hands out in front, and resting down this way. Okay. Moving into plank pose. So tuck under your toes, holding plank, wrist directly under shoulders. And from here, you're gonna float your hips back to down dog. So basically you're pressing your hips up to the sky, drop your heels to the floor. We're gonna rock back and forth between those two positions to warm up the shoulders a little further. So since this is yoga, we're gonna add a little breath work in. So you're gonna inhale as you come forward into plank, Exhale as you press back to down dog. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale, press back, down dog. Keep going like that. 
As you're in plank, engage the abdomen, pulling the abs up and in. Rocking back and forth, inhaling plank. Exhale, down dog. Keep going. We got two more. On your next one, come into plank and hold here, breathe. Fire up the abs, feel the arms working. Hold and breathe. 10 more seconds. From here, either stay high or drop your knees. You're gonna bend your elbows to lower into chaturanga. From here, you're gonna press up into up dogs. So you're going to have your weight on the top of your feet, arching the back up, and then press back into down dog. Breathe here. Go ahead and drop to your knees again so you're on all fours. We're gonna move into dolphin. So you're gonna be on your forearms. So start on your knees and place your forearms on the mat. Hands are flat on the floor. Tuck under your toes. So basically it's gonna look like a down dog but on your elbows. So you're gonna tuck under your toes, lift your hips up to the sky, and you're going to start to walk your feet forward. So you're trying to bring your weight further forward to make your upper body work a little more. Make sure you're not collapsing into the shoulders. You're really pressing through your elbows to keep yourself lifted. Hold here and breathe. See if you can walk your feet in a little closer. You could even rock back and forth on your toes. And walk your feet back out. Drop back down to the knees and sit back onto your heels. We're gonna do that one more time. So option to stay with that variation, just doing the hold, or option to take it up a notch, and we're gonna do like, kinda like tricep push-ups back and forth from that position. Okay, so you're on your forearms, hands flat, tuck under your toes, send your hips back up, start to walk your feet in, make sure you're pressing through the elbows, hold and breathe. Either stay here or option to press through your hands and straighten your elbows. Bend the elbows to lower back down, keeping the elbows tucked in. You don't want to let them wing out. Press through your hands, straighten your elbows, feel your triceps engage. Lower your elbows back down. Press through your hands, straighten the elbows, and lower back down. Three more, or holding wherever you're at. Child's pose is always an option. I definitely feel my triceps working. One more. Come back to dolphin. Walk in a little more, hold it. Press through the elbows. And then walk your feet back. Drop the knees down, sit back onto your heels. Relax your hands down, palms facing down. Just take a moment here. Breathe. Okay, start to walk your hands forward to come back into plank. Holding here, bring your right hand a little bit closer to the center line. Turn your feet so you're on the border edge of your right foot. Lift the left arm up for side plank. So you can either hold here or option to modify is you could drop the right knee down and hold this way. Breathe, keep a slight bend in the right elbow. I'm pulling backward. Don't lock it out, abs engaged. Keep breathing, hold it. Come back to plank and switch sides. Left arm comes to the center line. Put your weight into the border edge of the left foot. Right arm reaches up, hold. Option to drop the left knee down for a modified version, wherever you're at today. Breathe here. One more breath. Come back to plank. 
either stay high or drop to your knees and bend your elbows for chaturanga so it's like a tricep push up extend up into up dog and then press back down dog breathe here from here start to walk your feet forward to the front of the mat and roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time to come up to standing taking a side bending stretch here you're gonna have your feet together or hip width apart whatever's comfortable for you reach your arms up overhead hold on to your right wrist with your left hand and bend to the left opening through the side body breathe here And switch sides, coming back up to center, holding on to the left wrist with the right hand and bending to the right. Breathe here. Come back up to center, fold forward to place your hands on the floor. Step back to all fours. Cross your feet behind you to sit back on your mat. Coming into tabletop, you're gonna place your hands behind you, fingertips pointing toward your butt. You're gonna lift your hips up, so press through your heels and lift up into tabletop. Breathe here. We're gonna do some swings here, so you can either stay here, lifting through the hips, keep your neck in neutral, so you're either looking forward or up to the ceiling, or we're gonna move into some swings. So if you're trying swings, you're gonna drop your hips down, but keep them still floating so they're still elevating. And start to straighten the knees so your hips are kind of directly over your arms. Your knees will still be bent. And then lift back up to tabletop. Swing back, putting a little extra weight. Really press through the hands, drop your shoulders down and back, and lift them, uh, uh, back up to tabletop, sorry. Come back, swing, hold it. And press back up to tabletop, two more. Come back up to tabletop, hold, breathe. And drop your hips back down to the mat. Either sitting in a cross leg position or coming into kneeling. Let's take a side bending stretch. Bring your left hand to the floor. Reach your right arm overhead. And switch right arm to the floor, left arm overhead. And switch. And switch. One more each side. Coming back to center, reach your arms overhead. Taking a little bit of a twist, bring your right hand to the outside of the left leg, left arm behind you, look back. Bring your hands back up. Left hand comes to the outside of the right leg, right arm behind you, look back to the right. Bring the arms back up, twist to the left. Arms up, twist right. One more each side. Arms up, twist left. And arms up, twist right. Come back up, and then bring your hands back down. If you're in kneeling, feel free to stay here. If you're not comfortable, you could always go to a cross leg position, easy pose. Let's take a little bit of a stretch. So you're going to bring your right arm across, holding on to the forearm, pulling the arm across, or on the upper arm, wherever is comfortable for you. Holding there, breathe. Even though you're pulling across, still don't just let your shoulder pull this way, still trying to pull it down and back. And switching sides, left arm across, either holding the upper arm or the forearm. Again, don't just twist this way, still keep that shoulder down and back. Breathe here, just winding down, stretching out.
Bring your hands up overhead, taking a tricep stretch. Bend the right elbow, hold onto the right elbow with the left hand, stretching here. Breathe. Either stay there or option to hook behind you so the left arm comes behind you, clasping your hands together and opening this way. Wherever you're at, either option is fine. Relax, relax the grasp, switch sides, bending your left elbow, holding onto your left elbow with the right hand, stretching your triceps, so giving it a little pull. Breathe. Either stay here or option to reach the right hand behind you. Glass, grasp the fingers together. Open here. I think I was saying clasp and grasp, but that's, yeah, I don't know. Just hold it, breathe. Go ahead and relax that grasp. Reach your hands back up. Bring your palms together and bring your hands down through heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thank you guys for practicing with me today. Again, since this is more of a workout type yoga fusion, I'm not ending with you in Shavasana, but I do highly recommend you take a Shavasana to kind of seal in your practice and allow your body time to rest. I do have a yoga flow that is kind of like this one, but tailored to the lower body, so I'll link that below if you're interested in that. And again, if you want to see what else yoga has to offer, then I highly recommend that you sign up for my seven day yoga experience. It's totally free guys and I think you'll really enjoy it. But that's all for today. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right below me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.